Xiaomi's new generation of high-value Poco mid-rangers has arrived with the Poco F5. Just like its predecessor, it looks to offer a nice mid-range experience for the money. So what's new here? I'm Will for GSM Arena and let's find out in our Poco F5 review. The Poco F5 isn't exactly brand new, it's a rebranded version of Xiaomi's Redmi Note 12 Turbo which was released in Asia. But at least for the Poco family, it's a fresh face. Compared to the previous Poco F4, you get an upgraded chipset and a larger battery. Plus the new model is noticeably lighter, at just 181 grams. We have the phone in a white gradient finish, which has an interesting bluish pattern underneath. Both the back and the frame are made of plastic, and the phone is overall quite comfy to hold. It would be hard to mix up the Poco F5 with the F5 Pro. The design is quite different, including the arrangement of the cameras. That's a bit funny because the cameras are exactly the same on the non-Pro and the Pro model. Both models also have IP53 rated ingress protection, as is typical for Xiaomi mid-rangers these days. The display of the Poco F5 is a 6.67 inch AMOLED with a 120Hz refresh rate and Gorilla Glass 5 protection. It's basically the same panel as on its predecessor, the Poco F4. That doesn't mean it's bad though, far from it. The display is contrasty and color accurate, and there's support for HDR10 Plus video, Dolby Vision, and 12-bit color depth. The display is also quite bright. We measured a maximum of 470 nits with the manual brightness slider, which can boost up to 960 nits in auto mode. And the smooth 120Hz refresh rate can dial down automatically to 60Hz when idling or playing certain content or apps. For audio, the vanilla Poco F5 has a traditional headphone jack, unlike the Pro model. And there is a pair of stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support. They have very good loudness, and highs and vocals sound clean, but bass is lacking. You can wake up and unlock the Poco F5 with a side-mounted fingerprint reader built into the power button. And the phone comes with 256 gigs of storage on board and that isn't expandable through microSD. The Poco F5 runs the latest Xiaomi user interface, MIUI 14, on top of Android 13. It's the Poco-flavored version though, meaning a few small differences from most Xiaomi phones like an always-on app drawer. You can check out our dedicated video if you'd like to dive further into the specifics of MIUI 14. One of the more unique features of the Poco F5 is that it brings a new chipset. It's a Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2, built upon a 4 nanometer process. It's the first time we've encountered it in person, and it's very different from the previous Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. Overall, the performance here is quite impressive. The Poco F5 blows all challengers away in the mid-range market, at least those running on less than flagship tier silicon. There's plenty of power here for your multitasking and gaming needs. The Poco F5's thermal management though was a little underwhelming considering its advanced passive cooling system. The performance throttled down during our prolonged stress test, and not in the smoothest way either. The Poco F5 has a larger 5000 mAh battery compared to 4500 in the previous model. As you'd expect, the battery life is better here, with the Poco F5 earning an endurance rating of 118 hours in our tests. The Poco F5 also supports 67 watt fast charging, and it is fast able to charge the phone from 0 to 83% in half an hour. Like I mentioned earlier, the Poco F5 has the same camera setup as the Pro, a 64 megapixel main cam, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro camera. Overall, the main cam shows a nice improvement over the previous model, maybe thanks to better processing with the new chipset. During the day, these 16 megapixel photos have a great level of detail, good sharpness, and wide dynamic range. The colors are vibrant, and maybe just a little over the top when it comes to the green grass and foliage. If there's plenty of light, portrait mode shots come out good, with plenty of detail and true-to-life colors. The separation from the blurred background can be a bit off in complex scenes though. After dark, the Poco F5's main cam still doesn't disappoint. There's impressive sharpness and plenty of fine detail. The colors are on point, and the dynamic range is more than adequate. Still, you may see clipped highlights in some scenes. Night mode photos look great at first glance, but look closely and you'll see that Xiaomi went overboard with the sharpening and noise suppression here. At least the highlights are restored and the images brightened up a bit. The main cam can record video in up to 4K resolution at 30fps. It's very nice, with vibrant colors, good dynamic range, and adequate contrast. The electronic stabilization does a good job as well. Now let's talk about the ultra-wide cam. 
It's able to provide decent results in good lighting conditions. Detail and sharpness, although unimpressive, are okay. Dynamic range is also alright, and we like the colors and contrast. At night though, the ultra-wide's photos are dark, and leave a lot to be desired. With night mode on, the highlights get restored, but the photos overall look rather blurry. For videos, the ultra-wide cam can record in 1080p resolution. These clips have decent colors and contrast, but they're lacking in sharpness, detail, and dynamic range. Don't forget about the 2-megapixel macro camera. Actually, there's not much to get excited about here. And selfies come from the 16-megapixel front-facing cam. There's plenty of detail in these shots, and the sharpness isn't too bad, but colors seem a bit lifeless, and all of the samples look grainy. So that's the Poco F5. It's quite a solid mid-range all around, with a chart-topping chipset, nice speakers and display, good battery life, and fast charging. The camera performance is also pretty good for the class. You can find mid-rangers for cheaper, but for this price tier, the Poco F5 has plenty to offer, and it's definitely worth recommending. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're on the lookout for alternatives to the Poco F5, one option could be the Samsung Galaxy A54, or you could check out the Realme 10 Pro Plus. Let us know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.